Oh, good. You're both here. Bardock dragged Mira into the time rift and something happened. I'd like to show both of you just exactly what had happened. Show us? But what could possibly have happened? It's easier if I just show you. Here, look. What the? Bardock? <laughs> I can't shake him off! How oh, is he so strong? <gasps> Don't! <sighs> how can... How can someone so weak overpower me? How dare you make a fool of me! This time, it's not about the Saiyan. Even my son, Kakarot! I'm here for payback! Never underestimate a Saiyan's power! Get ready! How could I, by the likes of you? I had no idea you were so powerful. Defeating you will be proof of my strength. What is this? You still want to fight me? There's nobody around to get in our way. Seems like the perfect opportunity to me. Did you tamper with my body? You will regret having made me stronger. I'll be the very strength I got. Prepare yourself. Don't underestimate me. Time to die! Keeps increasing his power as he's fighting. I haven't begun to get angry yet. He's a super saiyan. So powerful. Defeating you will be the definitive proof of my strength. Proof for who? That Toa woman? So that's your reason for fighting? You're a lot dumber than I thought. What did you say? You're strong. I'll give you that. That belongs to you. Use this strength! I'm gonna die! Don't underestimate me! 
time to die! No, it can't be. I'm the one with the higher power level, it's not you! For all your trusted numbers, you really are dumber than I thought. It's time to finish this. What's the matter? I know you've got more than that! I... I lost. <laughs> I... always wondered what it would feel like. That thing they have... that I don't. I think that I... understand what it is now. Wow! Bardock managed to defeat Mira! Unbelievable! Mira ignored Toa's orders in the final battle, in a bid to push himself beyond his limitations. It seems like this fight with Bardock has really caused Mira's very nature to change deep down. That's all well and good, but what'll happen to Bardock now? When Mira regained consciousness, Bardock was no longer there. Yes, but what does that mean? From the instant their battle ended, until the time Mira regained consciousness, history just... disappeared. It appears that the clash of all those superpowers in one location caused some kind of anomaly in the time rift. What does everyone else think happened to Bardock? That battle was fought with such sheer intensity that if the rift did rupture, it wouldn't exactly be a surprise. When you think about it that way, Bardock could have been sucked into a whole other dimension. The thing is, I heard turning Super Saiyan 3 comes at the expense of extreme exhaustion. With such a sudden awakening and violent explosion of power, he could have obliterated himself. Uh, they're both possibilities, that's for sure. Well... If he's still alive, we'll probably bump into him again sooner or later. We have to get back to our investigations into history. Right. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for all your help, Trunks. You were really great. Oh, it's you! Huh? So, Trunks isn't with you? Don't worry, I asked Trunks to take care of another assignment. Seems there's been yet another change in history. Ordinarily, I would ask you to fix the alteration right away, but I want you to take a look at this first. Well, let's get cracking!
trunks. You came from the future, didn't you? So Bulma was able to finish her time machine. I'm really proud of you, Trunks. Thanks! Right. It's not the time for this. Seventeen and eighteen are attacking the city. You're right. And this time, Gohan... Gohan, I'll go with you to fight! This time... This time... I won't hold you back! What are you saying? You know you're not allowed to do that, Trunks! you help out Gohan here, you'll change the course of history! I... I know, but I... Trunks? Please, you have to stop Trunks! Trunks, is there something you want to tell me? I... If you're here, all grown up, then the future is safe, isn't it? And so... This fight has a real purpose. That's enough for me. No! You can't! Go on! Trunks, it looks like you've made a good friend. You can't abandon a good friend, can you? It was really good to see you, Trunks. Go on! You're alive? We'll fix that soon. Kill him now! Use your full power! The last time I fought, I barely even used half of my troop. And this time, you're outnumbered two to one. You don't stand up. I see that. But there's no way I'm pulling back. Trunks? What are you doing here? Sorry. I made up my mind. You can't abandon Gohan, not now. What's the meaning of this? Is that the same little brass from before? I don't know what kind of trick you've pulled, but growing a few inches won't be enough to save you. Don't be so sure about that. Everyone. I will avenge all of you! If that's your limit, you have let me down. It's over. Looks like we won. Those androids have been vanquished. Peace again at last. Looking forward to a little bit of rest. Feels good already. Trunks? Why did you come? I thought I told you to stay away. <sighs> Don't you know you shouldn't come here? You're right. It's unforgivable. And now I can never return to that world again. But... I just couldn't. I just couldn't bear to see history plagued by any more unhappiness. Or... a future like that one. Trunks... It's fine. I don't regret my decision. We did manage to save this world after all. <laughs> You're right. Seeing as you saved me... I think I've already said too much. Trunks, I really owe you one. It's thanks to you that we were able to beat the androids. You've turned into a really strong fighter, my friend. Thanks, Gohan. We could use someone as strong as you to help protect this world. So, what do you say? I'd be honored. When Cell shows up a few years from now, the two of us should be able to beat him easily. We need to destroy Cell's eggs in this era. Oh, and we need to do something about the slumbering Boo, too. Cell? Boo? What are you talking about? Look, 
I know what the future has in store. I have to use that knowledge to restore peace. Amazing. You're like our very own crystal ball or something. First things first, though. We need to tell the Bulma and Trunks of this era that the androids have finally been defeated. And I need to get you all introduced, too. Uh, uh, sure. I think Mom will be a little shocked to find out she suddenly gained an extra son. Don't sweat it. She'll be happy to hear the extra pitter-patter of little feet. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, would you look at that? This change in history came about from the conflict with Trunks. Hmm. Well, if you ask me, that must have happened when Trunks met with the Gohan of this timeline. This history is all wrong, but I'm sure a peaceful future awaits further down the line. It's possible that could be the future Trunks is so intent on reaching. Maybe, but leaving changes in history is dangerous. They could be the catalyst for further deviations, just like this one here. What do you think? Do you think we should fix this distortion, or should we leave the timeline as it is? Hmm. Perhaps you're right. All right then. I understand just how you feel. I'll bear in mind all of what has already been said, but the final decision is still mine. Well, good job, kid! <laughs> <laughs>